Okay, good evening. Welcome to the Wareham Finance Committee. Today is uh, Wednesday, March 7th. And may I call the meeting to order and ask the clerk to call the roll. Present tonight, Chairman Pigeon, Clerk Bailey, Dominic Camarado, Len Lawrence, and Jerry Stefanski. Thank you. Uh, the next item we're going to cover is citizens' participation. And if uh, I believe you all have a copy, which I uh, copied you on your emails, from um, Atila Bryant. And she was asking us a question about the school budget and school choice. And I responded, and this is what we really would like to have from people who do listen, both of them or all of them. And uh, I answered this one. And what I think we'll do is put names in a hat for the next one who comes in and we'll pull them out. I don't know if that answer was quite right. We don't just lose money, do we? We actually pay $5,000 in addition to losing the money, I believe. Well, that money uh, for the school choice is taken off our cherry sheet. It is, but I think we have to pay something extra above yeah, that. <coughs> that would be something to check. Yeah, I'm not I aware of it. Yeah, we're uh, required to support the student uh, beyond the cherry sheet amount. And uh, Ellis is right. I yes. don't know how much it is, but there is a fee. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's the $3 million for school choice or yes. whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And in addition, though, we on the cherry sheet, we also we, we, we get about 400000 There are children who do come to our school system as school choice. Yeah. I yeah. think there was it's really odd. Three or four or something. There yes. Was, there was a couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a few. There was a few, yeah. yeah. But at least uh, it's something. <clears throat> but that is the, uh, I answered her question regarding that. And I was unaware of the fee. So uh, I might add something and find, if we find out just how much per student it is. But uh, in the future, we have, uh, if we have more inquiries such as that, we'll put our names in a hat and we'll pull them out and see who answers that one. Each one of us will take a responsibility. We just have to be careful to answer them correctly. Yes. Um, and I'm sure we're all uh, we don't want we'll to be responsible each other. for spreading misinformation. Um, to that other. point, it might not be a bad idea since we're a collective pool of information, maybe just to kind of all, as a group, verify the information on the email. I just know, like, if you draw my name out of a hat, depending on what the question is, I could, mm -hmm. ha I could have the best intentions of providing a correct answer, and it could be completely wrong. Sure. Well, well, I think perhaps sense. just uh, type it up and we'll run it by the rest of us. We'll give you the feedback. Make sure you cross your T's, out of your I's. Actually know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this is the um, schedule we have for our review and hearings for all the uh, articles. As you can see, there's a number of them. Um, and just to let Ellis know that in his uh, email that he asked that we have certain people come before us, and number one was Guy and the sewer commissioners. It's 100 million, and yes, the sewer commissioners will be here. We'll have Guy when we do the um, usual review of budgets. And solar, Jackie will be here because there is a solar pilot article. Yeah. I don't know if I can take off work and make it through an all day thing, but I'll see if I can. Well, help the, the pilot is not during the day. It's at night. It's just the said, the uh, guy might be coming. Well, he'll be coming in the, the all day thing. That's true. You're right. You might be able to. Um, and with the CPC articles, there is one for the church, and the church people will be here. There is also one for um, a land trust. They will also be here. And I just talked to the, the cemetery commissioners earlier because they have a hearing downstairs uh, in the uh, auditorium on the uh, new bylaw or rules, excuse me, the rules for the cemetery. Is there a financial component to those? Is that what's going on now? We might not have to care about that. that. No. We don't. It might be a bill momentarily, but every, we can review everything. And I just wanted to make sure that everyone had the opportunity here. I don't want these quite a few people down there. I just walked by, there's quite a few people. That's the meeting now in the yeah. cemetery. It's yes, it a, lot the more than, a lot more than I thought they'd be there. <laughs> well, they started at 6, and there must have been maybe 
10 people when I left. Oh, it's, yeah. The, really the, been yeah, filling more up. now. I'd say there's 25, 30 people there now. Mm -hmm. And uh, another one question, uh, five mil for the pier for Onset. And they will be here. Uh, is it, that's the CPC. And I left a message. I haven't got a re return back for Gary to see if uh, he'll join us. Because there's also the uh, petitioned article on agriculture, aquaculture. And that was the regulation of the oyster farms. The Council on Aging coming, or they pulled everything yet? Uh, no, they're, uh, I haven't spoke with them yet, but I can, uh, as far as I was um, aware of, they intended to, but it was by uh, second hand, because I was at the COA meeting. Mm -hmm. None of the board of directors on the COA signed the petition, which they were relieved at because they didn't have the awkward situation of uh, <clears throat> someone defending it and they, they in turn uh, <coughs> not approving it. Right. Well, after the last school board meeting, I assume they just pull it. Reach around. There's also another petition for, where is it now? South Shore Community Action, they're requesting 5,000. Raise an appropriate. Council on Aging is raise an appropriate 80,000. But I would suggest um, there's some housekeeping items tonight that we can probably go through that doesn't require talking to anyone. That is Article 1 through 5. Article 1, the election of officers, which is a housekeeping article. Well, before I get to that, everyone is familiar with the marijuana. Uh, Kelly has already typed that in. That is next Monday the town, town meeting, 7 o'clock, the high school. Okay, are we, will we be on stage? Or? I believe we may. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, very typically we are. So I, okay. Mm -hmm. so there's only two articles on this, right? Yes. So this should be like a 15-minute thing. It's, it's hard to say. Yeah, unless there's any objections. I think there might be, and I think the objections is going to be where they're saying it can only be in a certain part of town. I think that that's going to be... People the, want it all over town? No, it's not that they want it all over town, but the industrial, I mean, the, the, where it is else doesn't seem to be a retail, you know, a retail area store. They're talking about the structure of Cranberry Highway by Robertson's Junkyard, right? Am I right? Down that area, yes. Yeah, yeah, right by there. By the GM dealer. Yeah, 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 so... It's nice and centrally located. <laughs> no, I understand that, but it's not, you know, uh, it doesn't matter to me oh, yeah. where it is. I Hello. just think that there are going to be some... Uh, might end up with Glaucoma someday, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is our only, from uh, what they have addressed in the selections meeting as well as the planning board meeting, that this is our only opportunity to, I say, the, um, how do I phrase this? Yeah. Change it or object to it. Some of the uh, bylaw more strict than the state legislation, which will come in, into play in April 1st. So the overall uh, thought is that our more strict regulations regarding uh, the establishment of the uh, marijuana locate sale locations may be more acceptable than the state's. The state doesn't have the same restriction, like yeah. in a particular area, yeah. you can do it in, in down the main street if you want, I think, under the state law. And we have an opportunity to make some money at 3% sales tax. Uh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah, we might as well. I think it should be higher. But that's in the state law, that's the maximum is... Uh, oh, that's the maximum in the state? I didn't realize that. Yeah. We can't change that. No, no, we can't go above it. can't go above it. You can go no. below, but you can't go above it. Right? Yeah. And in the regulation, they... Uh, limiting the number of stores to three. Yeah, that's so it's twenty percent of the existing uh, liquor licenses. We have twenty. Yeah. And that uh, will make it two point six and they round it up to three. And the, in the law they're allowed to law round up. They've already addressed that. Yeah. A three doesn't sound unreasonable, I guess. No. No. Anyway, it's already been approved. It's just 
Now yeah. we're just doing some zoning work. And yes, because as far as the marijuana is concerned, uh, the state had a plurality in the votes, as well as uh, where him itself, we had plurality right. in so the votes. There's really nothing to discuss beyond, oh, I want it here and not there. The was only thing I think there would be problems yeah. with, right, that's all. Well, well we the think limitation the on three is the minimum apartment, but if you don't put some sort of right. wording so into the bylaw, so five, we could have as many as, if there's no right. limitation in the bylaws, then mm -hmm. we could have. I might apply for my license myself if it was unlimited. You could. It's running out of the house, <laughs> sure. delivery service. Big money. Get a Prius <laughs> or a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't smoke myself, but uh, it's I like jealous. You could be a well, libertarian. Not only run a smoke shop, you could probably run a cafe, a smoke cafe. That might not go well out of the house, but. <laughs> like my like that. Yeah, it would be the delivery. Kids. Out of the house would be delivery only. Now, can say, get I'll a couple of Doberman. Any one of these shops? You can do home delivery. Oh, is that right? Um, I don't believe our um, bylaw allows it. I, I'd have to reread re it. But you understand most of the Cape has a moratorium. They uh, voted no. They voted um, no. To us so we could be. Maybe the, the only one. Did it deliver yourself to down in Falmouth? Uh, <laughs> well, Plymouth allows it, and I, I think Mashpee did too. Home delivery? Uh, just the, the having the stores. Plymouth already has one open. Okay. I believe that's that's the case. Uh, I yeah. think it was Mashpee that allowed them. No one else in the Cape, something like that. There I was someone on the Cape. I think Provincetown has it also. I would be surprised it's if they did. Right. <laughs> I, I love it. I love being done. I heard that on the radio. <laughs> right. There's a big gap between here and Provincetown, so there's a large market out there. Right. The only thing, the only people I think uh, who may be there, oh, beyond this particular spit bylaw the specific, specificity of it is people who still have an emotional attachment to whether they should or should not right. and depends on how generous Claire is with the uh, talk time if she will allow that kind of discussion. That just needs to be shut down because it's not the issue. Mm -hmm. Uh, as far as the sewer articles are concerned, on um, the ten million that they want to borrow, if you go on their website, they have a piece on the the uh, trenchless epoxy they call it CIPP, and apparently to repair the eight-inch asbestos cement gravity main that they were working on, but it has reference to the uh, one that goes by the middle school that they're putting the lining in now that they're borrowing that money for. Financial deals in there? Financial, um, anything? In terms of? Well, they said it was gonna save $400,000. So if I had an interest rate in the payment period, I could decide how much, uh, $400,000. I wanna know if that's real savings or if that's uh, kind of imaginary, I'm trying to get you to do it, savings. Because if it's real dollars, that, that actually pays well, it pays the interest on a $10 million loan at 4%, doesn't it? I'm not sure how he applied that, but it's a, he, in his presentation, he said it's costing that much to process the water that is infiltrating right. so through I the guess, pipe. Right. That's what I'd like to know, if that's, that's real money or if that's, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. And he, as well if as nothing me. nothing else changes with the other extra $400,000 in real this It's real money bank. because that's water that's coming in that has to be right. treated. Well, that's my but question. It, it, he seemed to be implying it's right. real money. Right. Was it less wear and tear on the equipment money? And over yeah, 20 like years, it'll add up to 400000 Or is it year. salary, or is it Yeah, and is he actually cutting down on salary, electricity, chemicals? Yeah. His processing cost is to the whole bundle that they're doing for the, for the year, let's say. It will lessen or uh, reduce the amount he has to process. It's costing X number of dollars now to process Y amount of gallons. Yeah, that'll be less. But he'll be here as well as the commissioners. Um, okay, going back to the articles, uh, the election of officers, it's Article 1. <coughs> That's pretty straightforward. It's a, it's a housekeeping article that we see every year to accept the uh, election. I make a motion to accept article one. You have a second? 
Second. <clears throat> And it is explained as to choose the following officers, all those elected. Any other questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? This is vote unanimous. Second one is uh, recurring business. And that uh, allows them to enter into contracts from time to time for the expenditure of funds allocated or allotted or otherwise available to Wareham. But that would be um, a lot of grants that we receive, uh, compensating balance agreements. I make motion we accept that. Second. Motion is made and seconded. <coughs> Any discussion? There being none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. Article 3 is the compensating of compensation of certain appointed officials. I don't know of any elected officials that are paid. So, any stipends? Yeah, the clerk was. Um, and I don't believe they have uh, we don't health care either. Clerk anymore. Um, the town moderator, oh, she's not elected, or is she? She's elected, yes. She's paid a stipend. So there are. Well, that's considered a stipend, or she's paid per, per diem. She's paid per diem. That's not a stipend. No. no per diem. It's, it's, it's but they still have an elected clerk, and I think that's going away. She's paid. We just had, we just had, you know, like, we just had a knock on that. The clerk. Yes, but they withdrew it. They withdrew it. Okay. Yes. Now she is supposedly, from what I've uh, heard in conversation with her, is she intends to retire, but you can't take action until she actually turns her papers in. Okay. And then you have to wait for the date of her retirement, so she actually okay. separates. Then you can go out and reclassify the position. Point is uh, appointed or uh, elected, <clears throat> as well as compensation and responsibilities. So we know who is who's an appointed who's a compensated official at this point. I have to say it would be the moderator is one. If per diem is considered usually that, usually it's no? the town moderator, the clerk, and then the registrar of voters, whatever they call that, which is Marion as well, yeah. which is Marion as well. We'll put that on hold, and I'll uh, mm -hmm. next meeting we'll come back with a we need to know list of already people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> of the group of us, and some of you have an awful lot of internal information on this town. <laughs> you still don't know. I can assure you, we are not. No, no we so are. don't have any expectations. <laughs> well, we're not elected either. So. Okay. Accepting revolving funds as Article Four. And essentially, these are established, mm -hmm. and they have maximums. And that's all we're doing is accepting, uh, reaffirming our acceptance. And the, the spending limit, as written in legislation, is identified on each of them. Then I'll make a motion to accept Article 4. That's written. Our motion is made. Is there Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any other discussion? I have to know that the revenue source for this is either user fees or rent. It doesn't come out of the tax revenues. So it's just a revolving part of the revolving fee. fund. It's yeah. a revolving fund, and the, the source of the revenue is not taxes. Mm -hmm. Correct. And the revenue source is it identifies all user fees, with the exception of the rental of Hammond School. Right. And mm -hmm. selfish permits. Rental of the, let's see, in the Board of Health. Rental of the tax title collections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So of those that we're accepting here, as identified, they're all um, funding through fees or collection of rental fees, et cetera, as you want to call it that. Right, there. None, of, none of them come from taxes. Correct. <clears throat> and I that, think that's that, important. Yeah. And since it was, it is part of the article that is the only monies that can be spent, only are 
the positive into that account. So they may not have as much money. They have, they have fifty thousand dollar limit. That and they the come cap. up with forty grand, they can spend the whole thing. Yes. I will ask the question though, and I think it's a valid one. If they collect more than the cap allows, does it go into the general fund? They can. That limited number is that limited number. And it's not collected. I, I think that so I, it has to be brought up and amended. Well, obviously, they're still conducting business. Right. And if you do collect, that's like an example, um, the library. Yeah. Uh, you collect 20000 If you go over it, where does that money go? Well, for example, I think we'll have to. I'm they, sorry, they, go they go to different areas. For example, in tax title. If, for example, they take title to. Ten houses this year, and they sell them for a hundred thousand apiece. That's a million dollars, and the they're allowed a hundred and fifty thousand to spend <clears throat> on tax title. That money goes back to the town, uh, so it can be used to purchase additional property for the town for development. So there, there are there are places that some of this overage can be used. That's uh, restricted to real estate? Yeah, real it estate is purchases. On tax title, it's restricted to real estate purchases. Can you so if they want with it? They could probably buy a, buy a parcel of property for that, uh, but it's designed to, it's designed for the redevelopment area, so that they can buy property, develop it, and sell it. Mm. Anything unencumbered as it states here, just rolls over the next fiscal year. That is greater than, I would presume, greater than what they're allowed to collect. Right. But you, you just can't keep doing that. You have to be something in the surplus that you say you're just not going to spend and what is going to happen there. All right. I, I guess I'm happy with that one. And as stated, motion to accept, please. Aye. Oh, the motion to accept. I'll make a motion to accept. Can I have a second, please? Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. It's unanimous. Asian reports. I don't know of any. However, we have um, individual reports, obviously, which are part of the articles because there are changes to be made in them. <coughs> and in past years, We've dispensed with this because there has been no preparation for one. However, um, there may be a report for updates that they're currently in process of. I think we should vote for it in case Indeed. there are any reports that may be heard. Indeed, I agree with you. If there are none, there are none. May I have a motion, please? I'll make a motion to accept as written. May I have a second? I'll second that. Mm -hmm. All those in favor say aye, please. Aye. Opposed? It's a vote, unanimous. And the next one would be six, the capital plan. Now, I think I have, uh, haven't spoken to the chairman yet, but I have them scheduled to be on our review. And what I passed, passed out this evening is a, alter, a new schedule. The one that you got the email uh, from Hold Kelly on. did not contain uh, the new articles that we received for the special town meeting. Excuse me, I think they're all in now. There may be some duplicate numbers because the uh, initial ones I had had numbers on them and they may conflict with the numbers I received today. Kelly was kind enough to go up and make some threatening calls and everything to the selectman's <laughs> office and I got, she was able to get them. The warrant doesn't actually close to the 20th, so they could still add. But I think there's uh, plenty of opportunity in the schedule 
as you've seen it, so it squeeze in someone here and there. I think we should wait on the capital plan until we hear mm -hmm. from the capital planning committee. Yeah, they're scheduled March March 21st, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We have a solar, a solar pilots coming in. Uh, Bylaw for the definition of horses and stables. I thought the new one would know. Replacing the zoning bylaw. And that someone wants to define what horse is. Yay. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's in there, and I agree. If they, didn't, just show if they couldn't define it the first time. Well, I have always been kind of confused. You know, mule, donkey, horse, zebra. Is it a horse? Or, yeah. Well, it's not Mr. Ed. <laughs> if you think there's anything else in there, we'll be uh, just over one. Let's, there's a petition concerning agriculture and that's uh, shellfish beds there will be um, I scheduled that with article 13 which is a replacement a restoration of Onsen Pier and I've got a message out to Gary to see if he uh, would like to attend with Sandy uh, for the Onsen and just hang in there and the next agriculture the agriculture is a petitioned article Is there anything anyone would like to see or people they would like to invite in? What's this uh, South Shore Community Action Council? These, these aren't. I have not heard of it before. They're it is a petition article. They're not part of the government, are they? No. This, this used to be on the war in previous years, but it hasn't in recent years. And they're looking for tax money or CPC money? Raise and appropriate, $5,000. No, if it's CPC, the CPC is in the description you see on the schedule. Is that legal to just give money to a, a non- they, they, they have no. in the past. They may have been uh, a viable group in the past, and as Terry said, they haven't shown up. So maybe they're trying to resurrect themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like if you did this, there'd be Hundred worthy groups lining up for them. Um, why them and not the other ninety-nine? Yeah, and I put them uh, with the uh, director, found the director of council and agent, requesting eighty thousand. Again, that's a reason appropriate to transfer. On uh, March fourteenth, it's a Wednesday. Uh, Next week. That would be during the day, starting at 8.30. And we'll be seeing the entire um, <clears throat> municipal side departments coming before us. And Derek has advised that uh, he has told his department heads to come with their request for a budget and not one that necessarily conforms to what he thinks they should have so that we have a better awareness of what they're requesting and what they need it for. Can we get those in Excel in advance? I've asked uh, everything we get, we may get it in paper, but it must come either in Excel or Word so that Kelly can transfer it immediately right into the document. I have a question. Do we can you get a, a, a list with approximate times that they're going to be heard each. I think Derek is going to establish that for us, and I'll make because sure. Because on the big important ones, I can run back and forth. I can't stay all day, but I don't mind coming. Well, I'll make sure you to the big important ones. Like you know, the smaller ones. Uh, yeah, you guys can handle it. You Derek know, usually the big ones the timing. Um, yeah, I've I seen it before. Yeah, so yeah. I can run back and forth because it's only right around the corner. Okay, okay. I'll do that. Can't yeah. stay all day, but I will do that. Okay. And at the same time, we'll do the EMS budget because that is a separate article, mm -hmm. as well as the enterprise fund for the 
uh, water Ocean, treatment. Yeah. Uh, the Thursday appointments, um, I've scheduled them primarily. Uh, initially, when I talked with Sandy, there was a conflict, and I was just talking with Alan a few moments ago, and these things I suggest there may be another conflict, but we can only do so much adjustment. Uh, Wednesday, she has definite meetings. Thursday, she may have to appear before some, but uh, I think it's far enough out. I'm going to ask her to give us a priority, at least, and or reschedule her appointment. Or have someone else come in? Yes, there's co-chairs. There are co-chairs. There are co-chairs of the uh, CPC. <clears throat> and again, uh, March 22nd, Thursday. Uh, the school committee meets on Wednesdays, and they always, they all, you know, we've got the meeting, we always have a regular meeting. It's okay, uh, I haven't talked to Judy yet, but I will uh, ask her to come in Thursday. And I think that should be, uh, allow them, all of the, uh, so the school committee people to attend. And I think that's appropriate. What we have, as far as the school committee's budget is concerned, we're responsible for printing in our booklet the one that it, the budget that is turned over to the selectmen in January. And they, in turn, pass that on to us. And uh, Jeff Swift was uh, very pointed in that in the committee, school committee meeting, that we are responsible for printing that budget. And that is on balance, of course. There will be another column that's typical that our recommendation is and will conform to the balanced budget. Now, we have the ability to change the budget, uh, to alter some things. We do it at our own risk, of course, but it still has to end up uh, balanced because we cannot go into um, Derek's estimate of uh, revenues and alter. We, have not, we don't have that responsibility nor uh, the experience. Probably we've got the, uh, <laughs> the nerve to do it, but I think we uh, shoot our hit cells in the foot if we would try that. But that is our responsibility. Now, they had a budget uh, meeting last week that uh, most of us attended. And I just wanted to ask your opinion of what took place that evening. I, I, he, he started uh, started with the budget, uh, their proposed budget, and um, then uh, the, they met as a committee and they, they, they reduced it by a certain amount, maybe a million and a half, or, and uh, that is what, um, then that is the budget that Derek and Mike had to work with. And then it presented some other reductions at the meeting. But rather than starting at the, you know, the budget that was presented, uh, or that they, not, they had a budget meeting in January, and, it, and they reduced it to a second amount. Rather than starting at that second amount, I think Mike went back to the original request from the department heads to show, to illustrate, how much from what they needed to, to stay at the same teaching level as compared to what they went down with. And they didn't, he did not start at that reduced point. That we did. The budget they presented to us, the difference between their request and what Derek had um, estimated the amount he had available to them, yeah. I think it was one, the shortfall was one. No, the shortfall was nine hundred and forty thousand. I was going to say a little under a million bucks. Yeah, yeah. nine hundred forty thousand. That that was the total shortfall. Yeah. And, but they had start initially at, a, at a, they had reduced it already by one point two million, I believe, to get to that. Yes. Okay. But what he started at that so at one point two million plus nine hundred thousand is about two million dollars. But Mike at that at the meeting started at that at that two million gap. Mm -hmm. okay. So. That was, that was I, and he did that again, I believe, because he wanted to show that the total reductions that they had been worked with were too many. Not, not, he didn't want to uh, not inform that already 1.2 million had been reduced. Well, you'd already shown that, I think, in their original presentation that yeah. we saw, that how much they were going to have to reduce it, right, and what the impact was going to be. And I think we already knew 
what they were going to have to reduce in order to come even close down to the uh, difference that we just had of the 940,000. Um, there was a lot of a lot of other things going on though in that presentation. They even talked about portals, and I couldn't figure out how that included in what we're trying to accomplish here and get to us to a balanced budget. And it, um, we're talking about closing uh, uh, line of force in, in building between either the middle school or hmm. Deacons. And um, that, as an aside, uh, if Minor Forest is selected as the new school site, that would, it seems to me, by reading the Billy Soup or so forth, the opinion of people in town, uh, pro and con, would make it um, uh, the construction that may be uh, less expensive and maybe uh, more timely. Uh, that's, that's See, I want to that, didn't, that didn't work, come out at the, at the meeting, but that's just a, you know, since then, if you, if you read, the, read the news about town, that's, oh, that's a, 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 some people, that, some are saying that's a benefit. One reason I'm asking each of you for their, your impression is um, we have an option here, are the, uh, the objective of balancing the budget and proposing a balanced budget. And what I heard was going on in the, in the presentation didn't take me to that uh, discrepancy between what uh, we is recommended that is, is available to them and what we, in the gap between it, how they are bridging that gap. That was my concern. I, I got confused, I felt. When they started closing mine at school and putting these kids all over the place, I didn't quite see where that was. All of that was necessary to recover nine hundred forty thousand. Because they're putting in portables, and like I was, I was thinking a lot of expense. They were out. They were having to reduce other things within their budget because they were going to have to pay for those portables out of their budget. I was confused because we're focused. I think in a presentation, the final presentation on the floor of town meeting, a balanced budget, and indeed they had a, uh, they've got a discrepancy of nine hundred forty thousand or one point three, however you want to read it. Now I was looking for how they were going to adjust their budget to accommodate to, that to get down to the number that the town administrator was talking. Yes, yes, and I kind of lost it there when I was going on, and I, David and I are both on the uh, mine and building committee. Yeah, I can see where some things are relevant to that, but I felt that was that was a separate issue, and to uh, as a relate uh, relate to what we're trying to accomplish here, we just balance the budget. Well, I, I I didn't get the feeling the balance the budget was balanced when I when I walked out. I didn't sure. either. I didn't either. I mean, they, they got they got to, they got close close to Derek's number. But they didn't get to it. So I, you know, what has happened between then and when the budget, when, when they come before us? Well, the deal that is. Well, it's an interesting. We're going to have a discussion with them, of course. <clears throat> As I said, I don't. I'm sorry, but I think I'm very distracted by their mention or a reference to portables. Because I think if you're trying to save nine hundred and forty thousand, and then you're buying portables, well, and you, you would you you would hope that when they talk reduction, that that extra cost, that that total reduction number in, included the increase in cost for the portables. You, you 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 would okay. But the portables be, will be there next year when there's another budget to close. Listen, they talk about using portables. They put portables in Deacus 20 years ago. They're still there being used. We went through them. They're not very good. Uh, I understand that, but portables, short term, and that's mm -hmm. how I get it. How can they still use them 20 years? That's just something like that. The only thing I get out of school committee, excuse me, that I thought might work and was the best idea 
was working with the people who are sending their kids to all the schools. That's three million and change. Now, we only need a million dollars. That's only, and I guess the part they were talking about was that, number one, they didn't feel safe and they didn't feel that they were getting a good education. Now, if there's a committee or a group of people who could actually sit down and talk to these people and try to sway them, I'll say, you're only talking about swaying a third of the people to gain a million dollars. If, if you've Not already that made, difficult. Uh, if you've already made the choice to go through school choice and your son or daughter's comfortable and has friends in the new district, you're going to have to make an awful good case to get them to come back. But I, I, you're right, Ellis, but you don't know. Trying, I just, I, I don't, I don't believe you'll get a lot there. You're only looking at gaining a third to come up with the number you need. There's 535. Does that include Upper Cape or no? No, it does not include Upper Cape. Um, no, it includes Upper Cape. 545. Uh, Charter has 67 students. Homeschool is 37. Uh, school choice is 174. Okay, Upper that's, Cape that's the number right there. 174 is the number you need to change. If you can change a third of that number, you gain your million dollars. Because right. that, that's $3 million, those kids right there. Else, that's three million dollars. Three million to change. Am I right, Dave? Is that what they said? They said it was three million. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you change a third, you come up with there's your million dollars. There's your million dollar yeah. shortfall. But I thought it was out of the total of five thirty-five that they were talking about. If you, that, that's what I understood. I could be wrong, Dave. I'm not <clears throat> saying I'm right or wrong, but I thought that they said that. The charter school was costing us three million dollars collectively. Every just, collectively, just leaving everyone. Mm -hmm. the but students I think it's all leaving. the students are leaving, it, it, including it, it, upper. It, it can't be upper tech yeah. school budget is three million. So how can that be included in it? You were three point three million to upper Cape. That's just us. No, I, I understand that, but we point. were saying mm -hmm. that you know the three million dollars it can't be collectively for that because so upper tech is three million alone. No, as a collective link, the 545. Right. That's uh, the three million dollars are collectively. Can't be. You didn't hear what I just said. That is. Uh, it can't be. Out of 500, you said out of that number, it's three million dollars. It can't be. Include Upper Tech. Upper Tech budget alone is three million plus. No, our, our contribution is three million plus. Right. But so I understand what you're saying. You see saying. what I'm trying to say? No. Yes. If you said out of that 500 some students, it's costing us three million dollars. It can't include upper tech. Derek says it's three million dollars. It's not a hundred. Those numbers I gave you are from students uh, either, because that would be seventeen two, seventeen thousand two hundred per student. So it's somewhere in the middle. I agree. We if we pay upper cape three million, it's not the whole bill. Right. That's right. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It's not the whole bill. We need I to thought they said, I thought that they said was three million one, just for that. The one seventy four well, isn't it either. So understand the, the school budget that we're talking about does not count or include upper cape. Correct. So that's 3.3 .3 million that we're giving to Upper Cape, but that's also the students that are give, we're giving to Upper Cape. So you'd have to say that shortfall, or the amount that comes up is less than 545 because the, uh, we've already paid that money separately. That comes out of the town. So the 225 that are going to Upper Cape of that 545, right. I've already been paid for. I just other. thought that that charter school issue was three million dollars. That's what I. That's what I understood. I, I could be wrong, but that's what I understood. Yeah. And I just thought if there was a committee or a group of people who could, you know, like Ellis said, it would probably be a rough road. But you could change some of them. There's, there's a way to get some of your money back. It's really just. That's one reason I wanted the discussion because we're all a little confused, mm -hmm. and before they come before us, I'd like us to be aware of where our un uncertainties are. And we have an opportunity when they come before us for clarification. Okay. Not that it'll change or anything, but I'll, I'll, I should have rather go home. But I, I have the upper tech budget. It's a three point some percent from, from the, that the presentation that Derek gave to the selectmen. Upper Cape Regional, uh, Upper Cape uh, Regional was three million three hundred thirty-four thousand. Up three some percent. Did that just yeah. to them? 
Um, then the um, charter school tuition um, school choice for, uh, was one point four three three million. Charter school is one point six three three. There's just three million. Right? So are, there, there's three million. There's just three million. That's not three. Those two together, three, 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 three and three. Okay, it's six million. However, now when you get in on the cherry sheet, four hundred and ninety thousand in. So it's six million minus a half a million. So it's five and a half million out of our pockets for for. Two but we can't change upper tech. True. But so the other ones we could. Mm -hmm. And that's the one you can. The buy back rest roughly in half, three million and a half. Yeah. Uh, charter school and school choice. I just want your son or daughter's comfortable somewhere else. No, you're probably what, right. what your argument is, and it's longer term, is, is keeping people from taking that road yeah. by, uh, well, making the school better. Uh, image is also important, but yeah. the more kids that leave, the, theoretically, the kids whose parents are willing to drive them to the next town over, probably the ones that are pushing their kids to be respectful of teachers and study for tests. And, oh, yeah, absolutely. More you know, more then your parental tests, more and right? whatnots go probably go down, not in, you know, just generally. I, 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 the kids I, are self-selecting out. So I, I, made, I, I, I need to make a, an, an addition. It, we received um, the charter school, 490 charter school. But school choice, there's some that come here we get 300,000. Okay. So we can get 700,000. But that's already in the budget. Yes, that's it. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Unless you can detract another uh, 200. But it, it was just, um, cause, uh, two other people made that suggestion at, at that school committee meeting. And it was the only thing I heard, Ellis, that had any, any financial gain that was possible. Right, but to Ellis's point, I think the problem is, is that you have, you already have so many drivers uh, in terms of factors that are, a family is sitting at their table and they say, I want to live in Wareham because it has a lower tax rate, but I am willing to forego the inconvenience taking my child outside of the city because the trade-offs are better for me personally. And so you have to you have to change the selling points that the public school has here. Exactly. And I don't think just simply appealing to people to, to keep their kids here is, is sufficient to do that because they've already said I'm willing to undergo whatever personal cost this has to me to send my kids somewhere else. And, but and it's are, hot. I drive to Kingston every day. You bring your kids to Kingston? Every day. It's no. a lot of dough and gas. It's a lot of why, dough and gas. Because, a lot because of of, well, why, <clears throat> why don't you want the kids to go to a That's what we have to change. What, what, is, what is your, I mean, if you don't want to say, I understand. Sure. My I mean, wife worked there. The, her fellow teacher said, you can't send your son here. Okay. My kid's kind of hyper. He's very smart. Yeah. And he's very active. Yeah, yeah. He's in a class with 11 kids now. If he came yeah. to Dicas, he'd be in a class with 20 or 20 22. Something. Yeah, they said it was around 20, 22, yeah. So in order for him to get his education... Better education. It's a little bit of extra yeah. attention and a scooch of extra recess. Yeah. Now, they take a survey when a child leaves or choice to take him to go to another school. Yeah. They take a survey, but they insist on keeping it internal because it would identify why people are leaving. What is the problem? And you would think they would have a program to adjust or to address what the shortfalls are. Yeah. But they uh, have come out now. They went through the process of identifying how they're handling uh, interruptions now at the beginning of the meeting, the last meeting. And it was enlightening and interesting because they seemed to be making a progress in it. But there was one or two uh, speakers that got up and said what they 
haven't addressed is the bullying problem. That's one. That's one of the things they said. It was and that's very difficult. Bullying, safety, and, and quality of education. Yeah. But Ellis just said something. He's talking about you know class size. He's only got eleven versus twenty. That's a lot more attention from a teacher teacher student ratio. That's a big. That's that's hot. And they That's talked key. of uh, yeah. bringing those uh, portables in, the, the uh, class size, because I have uh, stats from the school department that the current class size, yeah. and that went up enormously. They were adding, adding four or five to each grade level in each, in each class. Yeah, they said at maximum, I think it would be 22 at maximum, 19 to 22, they said. Currently, it's around that area, that average. Yeah. But when they were moving those portables in, it was going higher because they were losing classrooms. I, I thought they said Max was 22, but it could, it could be wrong. Now it is. Mm, okay. Well, you got the impression that they're I, I thought it was, I thought 22 was the highest that there would be. I, I, I'm not 100% sure. I don't, I didn't bring any of those papers with me. Yeah, I like and, it. And, um, it's also a problem we need to address if we get these 174 low income units. Yeah. They're not going to pay a whole lot of property tax. They are going to have a lot of kids in the school. That's going to kill us. I mean, what? This, I thought that they turned that problem. down right at the moment. Is it still well, going forward? Uh, well, still goes forward. There's no legal reason to turn them down. We can turn them down. Days. The town can turn them down. The town has held, they held a hearing the same yeah. night as the school committee Right, hearing. right. Well, they may go, Dave. Uh, there was a good discussion. Uh, unfortunately, the ultimate decision comes from the state. Oh, okay. And the state is looking to increase the number of affordable housing that's available throughout the state. So they encourage it. I know they were encouraging, but I thought that our issue was that we were trying to push the part of the trailer parks. That was what they were that's, leading that's on. That's completely separate. No, but I thought they were leading on that as one of their But that didn't go issues. through. No, I did go through, but I still thought they were using that as a leverage. If you were from a wealthy town and representing them, you wouldn't let that go through because you don't want the, these in your town. But we do not have that leverage right now. That That's not state law. Right. And state law in 40B says that if the Zoning Board of Appeals turns it down, yep. the developer can appeal to the state. Okay. And the state has final decision. And they've really been passing most of them. They don't most of them pass. Now, the administration has been advocating more housing, yeah. so we're going in conflict with the uh, and this administration. Like a terrible wants. place that are on Route 28. You know where it's going to be. You know where 7-Eleven is ahead of the Bay Road. Yeah. The lay to the left. Where are they going to ride their bikes down 28? Well, to that's, that's that's where. That's well, where. Yeah, we have a yeah. sidewalk on each side. Yeah, yeah. we're going to put in the sidewalk. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a state road, and they are redoing it. But well, uh, we're, right. That's yeah, where the plans. In the end, what that a terrible intersection. place to put people, though. I mean. Yeah. You could it build middle Am I class right? Is that that's where it's going to be? Am I right, Dave? That's, that's the area. That's that that is the area. That is it. Yep. As a result of the hearing last week, there is another hearing held, and I believe it's around the 29th of this month, and that is when a decision has to be made. So, the the decision meantime, from us or the state? From us. From us. And at that point, the developer is, has been asked to come back with some additional information, including traffic studies and a few other studies that will be reviewed by uh, actually Charles Rowley, our engineer, and there will be a discussion at that time of what their studies show and what the impact will be. But they, uh, ultimately... Do they give an all-in cost for these buildings? Uh, I, haven't, I didn't see an all-in cost for these buildings. And of course, the buildings are subsidized. The developer gets subsidies for it. Yeah. The, in exchange, the developer has a set profit that he can make on it. Um, he'll make a profit. His builders will make a profit. His consultants will make a profit. And the town will take a loss. Yeah. Peter wrote an interesting article in a starting letter to the secretary. In fact, uh, the, the morning of the meeting, the uh, Derek and Peter went into the Secretary of Housing and had an appointment. Uh, Susan Gifford got them the appointment, which is highly unusual. 
but uh, they said based on the body, la body language, they weren't too enthusiastic about having any result in, in their discussion. But um, can we use the CPC to buy this land? <laughs> <laughs> Peter estimated some 500 people. I mean, we should be creative and offer them a little extra money to just buy them out. Not a bad idea. I know, I'm full of them. <laughs> and it's not, and, and we can put up a school here. I wouldn't even put up a school there. It's <laughs> right. Right, right on 28. It's just not a good place to kind of live. Or but there are no place for water was. If you want yeah. a gallon of milk, there's a 7 Eleven. So <laughs> you've got to walk down the side of the road for it. All right. And you, you have to own a car to live there. Uh, it's the only thing. There aren't, uh, I don't know if the builder's having to put in amenities like playgrounds, trails, pools, I something. We didn't see any of that. Uh, but without amenities, where, where would the kids play? Uh, like on the street? Of course. I mean, it's just a terrible place to. Be. It's right. typical of where you want to shove poor people and you're not doing them any favors by mm -hmm. taking them to a school system that's already got some troubles and putting them on a highway where. They have no access to anything. It's just, a, it's just an awful plan. Can't they all work in Boston? Yeah. <laughs> How do they get there? They'll all be like lawyers and stuff. Right. Well, Peter and uh, had said that they mentioned that there, there are no jobs. No, there are no jobs. Here in Wareham. And neither are there uh, opportunities in the surrounding areas. They're all in very <clears throat> bedroom communities. That's about all. There's no We're transportation in terms of the train, the light. Even if it came down, it's an hour and a half into Boston. Right. In spite of all the negatives that we come up with, yeah. it doesn't make a diddly damn as far as they're concerned. They're developers who are looking to make money. Yeah, they, they're just looking to make a buck. Yeah, they're investors. The uh, WCTV recorded it. It's like in two, almost three hours. If you go to about an hour and a half in it, Dave, I'm giving, giving you up 10 minutes full of stats. Amazing. Very good. I heard that I you tried. did good, Dave. I did. I, I heard that. Now we're fortunate, Dave's been keeping up on it. Yep. He has know. backup also. The way, the way you get these things to go away is you've got to put in a stoplight, you've got to put in 10 miles of sewer line, you've got to put in this and that. And I was mentioned, including the stress, it also puts on EMS as well as. Uh, I think at least fire, fire department covers fire. that. Yeah, lots of fire covers that area. Right. The, the big item. Lines. The big item is sewer. Now, what's it going to do to the sewer lines that presently serve that area, and what's it going to do to the future plans for expansion of water pollution control facility? And uh, fortunately, we did have uh, Mr. Giberti there talking about it, there, there are going to be some additional interactions with WPCF. Yeah, I mean the lift station's going to be 400 grand, uh, but the pipe's got to be 200 bucks. And the it's expanded cost. capacity for the system itself isn't going to occur until they uh, put a new pipe in going to, to uh, discharge wow. down the past maritime. Right. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot going on. Yeah, but my point originally was if this goes in, the school budget, this, this will look like a cakewalk because they're not going to pay much in taxes. So. We'll, we'll add more school bills. Yes. Right, and either 174 units might be 200 kids minimum. Some of them are three bedrooms, some are two, probably some ones, but there are some three. Yeah. So, low income. Um, okay, Let's move it's along. It's just more here. low income or not, just more without just having, kids, without yeah. expanding the. If you were to build a, a neighborhood of middle class houses, you would get a lot of tax per house, five thousand, four thousand, whatever. Right. You're not going to get that per unit. Right. Uh, they're working on the master plan, and I'm going to see if I can schedule having them come before us uh, just for an update. Yeah, and I'll squeeze them in somewhere along. There's also a planning board meeting March 12th in the high school cafe at 6.30. And oh, for the life of me, I can't remember what they're having on my hand. Some paperwork on it here. Well, I'm sorry to say I've replaced it. Is that, is that 
for the master plan discussion or presentation? I couldn't reliably say. I mean, right. what, I got a line drawn between them here, which says they're two different issues. But on the next issue, um, approving minutes for February 7th is. <coughs> We were here, so we know what we said. Yeah. <laughs> motion to accept. Uh, I here. motion's made and seconded. Yes, you were here, David. Yeah. Oh, I, I wasn't, was I? No. Okay. I'll make a motion to accept. Second. Motion is made and seconded. Any further discussion? Any corrections? There being none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. No, no, no. no, no, no. I, I abstained. I was not here. Okay, one abstention. Five to one. Five to one and zero. Okay, next meeting date it is the 14th. Uh, that's for our meeting. We're all going to be meeting, of course, on the 12th. Which is the annual town, excuse me, special town meeting on the marijuana. And the March 14th is a Wednesday. Um, I'm not sure if Derek refers here or over in the, uh, it's over there. Oh, I know. I believe it's in the other And uh, I urge it to be over there because you don't have no. Okay, typically we do meet over there. Yeah. And you are, are you going to have a meeting at night? No. Just this will be an all-day, goes to around 2.30. Yep. Okay. What time is the special? 7. High school auditorium. And the regular meeting on the 14th. Yes. That one starts at 8.30. In the morning. That's the all-day. That's the department meeting. heads. Department heads. Will you have a quorum for that? We certainly will. Well, there's seven of us that are retired, as you would have pointed out in your Facebook coupons. Yeah. <laughs> so there's seven of us lacking experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you were. Not retired. So there's not seven of us. There's two of you out of nine people. Or at least three of us were. More of us were. Right. Three. It's on there. Ellis, too. Ellis isn't retired. Now. Do you know that number came from a CPA? Wow. I'd be suspect. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> well, that's <laughs> really good. Is that master plan? <laughs> fire that guy. Yes. You want to see it? Yes, thank you. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, you're right. It is the master plan. Thank you. Fair for the taxi. Yeah. 6 p.m., the town hall auditorium. That's on the 15th. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's the 15th. Yeah. Yeah. What is? So that's Thursday. See, we have a meeting now. Yeah, that was about the 12th. That's right, they're having her plant. Oh, good grief. Of course, that's a half hour before the uh, uh, special town meeting. This is the 6 p.m. in the auditorium on the 15th. So you go here at that's 6 the and then 6.30 is the, is the uh, hours. Yeah, Our meeting is 6.30 and 6. Okay. So six o'clock. Okay. Anything else anyone wants to bring up? Oh, um, sure. Just uh, the reason I asked the four hundred thousand dollar question for the sewer was that a payment for a ten million dollar loan, four percent over twenty years, is seven hundred thirty-five thousand eight hundred eighteen dollars per year. So if you knock four hundred thousand off that, there's only uh, a balance of. Uh, two, three, thirty-five, eight hundred to pay. I don't know how many rate pairs we have. At twenty-five hundred rate pairs, that's still one hundred and thirty-four dollars. So if it's real money, then that's not. You would not suspect it's not as bad. If it's wear and tear on equipment that we save, it's, then it's the, all the direct and indirect costs. You know, like so much per gallon. Mm -hmm. And then what will happen is that we will stop, and then the cost to to uh, clean. Per gallon will go up. I don't think it's going to be a big deduction. Right, and that's why I asked if it was real money or not. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's just, it right doesn't here. appear to be real money. The it, depreciation is going to be the same. Yeah, right. yeah there's a cost yeah. per gallon go up because yeah. depreciation goes up, or because labor is uh, spread over fewer costs, or fewer gallons. Yeah, so. yeah. Right. labor is going to be the same. Yeah, you know, sorry. Yeah. It's and then the account maybe it'd be a little have. savings in electric. Uh, that they use bleach. Uh, if they heat the stuff before it goes out, that would be a big cost savings. You know, I don't know how this works. An engineer. They heat it up and they bleach it. They somehow they process. They they treat yeah. it. They go through settlement and separations and right. Uh, the the main cleanup is the anaerobic uh, bacteria. Right. The bacteria get. Well, yeah. how much do they make per hour? Uh, <laughs> they don't get very much, but they're a lot of them. <laughs> they get fed. They get fed good. The other thing I don't like about that is when someone tells me it's $10 million, I'm very suspicious that it was $9,984,046. I'd be like, oh, that sounds right. <laughs> when you say it's 10 or 20 Sounds like anal extraction. Yeah. Yeah. I think the consultants on it came the uh, <coughs> I never put a round number on the tax return in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're we're uh, going to make them pay a few bucks in extra <laughs> tax before right. I put a round number on. Nothing has to be Contributions, <laughs> charitable, $5,000. Yes, $5,000. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned some very sensitive donations. But okay, um, just give them under 400 bucks. There's nothing else? Motion to adjourn. So the timing is second. Motion is made and seconded to adjourn. Anyone disagree with that? All those in favor say aye. Aye. So you do it. Just finished my public hearing. <laughs>